race to the shortest. A week ago today, the men's 100-meter dash. Maurice Green carried the U.S. hopes, and Maurice takes us back through the race. My role was to put the United States back on top. That was my job, is to win. I didn't worry about anyone else. I just concentrated on my lane and had to do the things that I was taught and tried to perfect it as much as possible. About three hours before the 100-meter final, Maurice Green's semifinal heat had him running within arm's length of the world's fastest man. While their 1-2 finish was predictable, their verbal sparring was a promoter's dream for the final. He looked over at me and he said, I'm back. And I, you know, I just looked back at him and said, all right, now let's get it on. You know, he was ready to run, I'm ready to run, so you know, let's get to business. Donovan Bailey. Can anyone dethrone him as the holder of the title world's fastest man? As the big event of the evening still to unfold. In a final like that, you have to be totally focused. And that's what I was doing my best on. I was trying to do. We got down in the block. Okay. And my groin muscles started to cramp up. And I raised my hand to gather myself back. And I was like, Lord, please don't let this happen to me now. And I had blocked it out of my mind. I said, I'm not going to let that bother me. I'm going to win this race. Who is the world's fastest man? I got in the block. And he said, set, and I heard the gun. Every scene of my life went by. I seen from when I was a kid running, my first days of practicing with John Smith, my days of dehydration. The last moment was me crossing the finish line and feeling glory. It's a fair start. Maurice Green got away well, so did Frank Frederick. Donovan Bailey, Bolden, as they come to the line, Maurice Green, Maurice Green wins for the United States. The U.S. is back. Nine, eight, six. Me and Donovan didn't say anything after the race. Um, I, w I wasn't concerned about Donovan. I was just wanting to share my glory with my true friend. I've always said I wanted to put the American Sprinters back on top. It's not that we opened the doors, we kicked the doors down, I believe. This is my first time winning the World Championship. And winning in Athens does a great deal for me. I mean, this is where track and field all started from. And I'm going to be here for a while. Gold medalist and world champion representing the USA, Maurice Green. I finally accomplished one of my major goals in my life when the, when the anthem was playing. I always wondered what would it feel like up there. And the feeling is, is overwhelming. I, I can't explain it. I was trying not to cry. I, I believe if the song was about two minutes long, I believe I would have shed some tears. But I was overjoyed. This is just the start for what Maurice Green has to offer. Next is bigger and better things, world records, Olympics, better things to come.